Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, I'm going to answer the question about why we can't use the access file inside of Power BI Desktop. And yes, I said access. This also could apply to things like Oracle as well. So let's figure it out. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. All right, what are we talking about? Microsoft Access. That's right. You heard me right. There's still a lot of folks that use that. And every once in a while, I get this question about why can't I connect to Microsoft Access from Power BI Desktop? This also comes up in other data sources as well. So the one I normally see it in outside of Access is Oracle because you can encounter the same type of problem that I'm gonna show in this video. So hopefully this is gonna explain it and get you going in the right direction and getting your data when you need it. All right, enough all this talking, let's head over to my machine to see what's going on. All right, so we're looking at access. I got my access database up and running. This big data, you can see, I just, honestly, I don't care about the data. I just wanna illustrate the problem that we've got, so I don't need anything major, so, Go ahead and minimize this and we're going to go into power bi desktop and try and connect to it so i'm actually running in a vm that's kind of a clean install of things so that i can actually reproduce this issue let me go to get data and we'll choose access database and we'll go and connect choose our file and bam uh oh so we encountered an error that said the 64-bit version of the Access Database Engine 2010 Access Database Engine OLEDB provider may be required to read sales.accdb. To download it, go to this URL. So one thing we can do here, this is just text, so we can actually grab that URL. If we go to the interwebs, this takes us to an article where you can actually see what's going on. Now. What I'm also going to do is let's go over to the actual download location. I'll have a link to this down in the description below and we'll go and grab the access database engine redistributable. So it said 2010, but you should be able to use it with the 2016 as well. So let me go ahead and hit download and you're going to see two options here. You'll see access database engine and then engine underscore X 64. What I see most people do is they grab the first one, not the second one. I'm going to go ahead and grab both. All right, and then let's go ahead and install the Access Database Engine. All right, there we go. Now you're probably gonna have to restart Power BI Desktop for it to be picked up. It may work without restarting it, but for good measure, I'm going to do it. All right, we're back up. Let me go and try it again. You get data, Access Database, bam. And we got the error again. What the heck? So what happened is I installed the 32-bit version of the provider or the drivers that are available to you. Power BI Desktop is actually 64-bit. So in this case, bitness matters. So in order for a 64-bit application to connect to a given data source or use a driver or provider, that driver or provider has to be 64-bit as well. I only have the 32-bit version. Let's explore that a little bit further. I have a file here that is a UDL file, so a universal data link file. This is something that you can use to actually do some testing and also see what providers are there. In this case, it's not ODBC, it's looking for the OLEDB provider. So this is a way that I can verify what's actually there. If I go and look, open that up, go to the provider tab, and I'll see that I don't have the actual, the access provider listed here. But of note also, this is the 64-bit version. This is not the 32-bit version. So let me go ahead and actually open up the 32-bit version. And I have a command that I can run to do that. So this is the 32-bit version, the way that I know in Task Manager, you'll see here that it actually says 32-bit. So that's how we know. And if we go in here, we'll see that we have the 12 and the 16 ACE or the Access Data Engine, so the, the ACE provider listed there. So it's it's the 32-bit version is there, so we're good. But Power BI Desktop isn't picking it up because this is the 32-bit version, not the 64. Going back to the 64-bit version again, and we'll see here now that it doesn't show 32-bit, we don't have those access providers listed here. 
So what we can do is actually go and install the 64-bit version of this, the Access Database Engine X64. So let's go and do that. And it gives you an error saying, mate, hey, you've already got the 32-bit version. You can't install the 64-bit version as well. And where this really came into a problem is because the default install for Microsoft Office was 32-bit. I believe they've either changed it to 64-bit or are going to at some point. And so if you have the 32-bit version of Office, it may have laid down that 32-bit provider for access, and then you run into this problem. So it becomes kind of a pain. All right, so there is a way for us to do this. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna copy the path. There is a switch that we can use. Uh, this actually changed. If you're using the 2010 uh, install of this, uh, it's a different switch than what the switch is on the 2016. So I'm using the 2016. So let's go ahead and we'll walk through that real quick. So let me open up a admin command prompt. All right, let me get to the right path. All right, so we're gonna run the 64-bit version of this installer. Now, the for the 2010 version, what you would have done is run passive for that version of it, and that would have allowed it to go side by side. With the 2016 version, we're gonna do quiet because they changed it. So now that should be in place. So let's go ahead and minimize this, we'll close that. Let's reopen the UDL file, go back to provider. And now we can see the Office 12.0 and the Office 16.0 Access Database Engine OLEDB provider. Perfect. And this is the 64-bit version. So now let's go back to Power BI Desktop and let's close it just for good measure. All right, we'll go to get data, do access, get our file. And there we are. So now it's actually seeing the data and I can load this inside of Power BI Desktop because Power BI Desktop is 64-bit and I now have the 64-bit OLEDB provider installed on my machine. And like I said, Oracle, you can encounter the same thing there. So if you're installing, you, you need to be mindful about what Oracle client tools that you're installing. If you're installing the 32-bit version of the Oracle client tools, then trying to connect with Power BI Desktop is not going to work because it wants to see the 64-bit version of the Oracle client tools. The other thing to keep in mind here too is if you're going to refresh that data, the gateway machine is going to have to have the same build because the gateway is going to be 64-bit as well. So you need to make sure you have the 64-bit version of the driver or the provider to be able to use that, whether that's Access, Oracle, DB2, whatever it is. If you have to install a driver or provider to connect to that data source, make sure you're using the 64-bit version for the gateway. And for Power BI Desktop, just make sure the bitness matches, whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. All right, I wanna hand this over to you. What do you think? Have you encountered this problem? Does this help you kind of get it sorted in your head? Bitness does matter. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.